Hi folks and welcome to the first tutorial by me Chris Young. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to get WordPress installed onto a live hosting company. So the company that I use for my hosting in my domain names is uh, FastHosts. So um, I've already got ignitionlab.co.uk registered obviously and what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, how to set up the FTP access. This will allow you to upload WordPress and how to set up the database and also finally we'll look at setting up the PHP file so that we can go ahead and get the um, downloaded version of WordPress up onto your web server. So this is obviously going to be different for different companies but like I said this one is specifically at FastHosts because that's who I use. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the FTP access. Now, FastHost automatically sets up the FTP hostname and the username for you. Um, the only thing that you really need to do is set up the password. So they have a default password. Um, I'd recommend that you obviously change it to something more personal, um, something a bit more memorable, but obviously make it difficult enough um, so that nobody can, you know, get this information. So it's just a matter of really deleting this section here, putting in a new password, re-entering it, and setting the FTP password. Now I've already set mine so we don't need to go through this stage but that's as simple as, as that gets for that section. So the next thing we need to do is obviously WordPress needs a database to run. So with the home developer package that I have um, I get a MySQL database. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new database and we're going to choose 150, MySQL 150 here. Now you could choose 300, however there is an extra £50 per year charge for this so obviously we'll just stick with the free option at the moment. So, database name and we're just going to use Ignition Lab and I'm just going to use Ignition Lab for my username as well and we're going to put in a password and what I tend to do is I try to keep some of my passwords the same so in this instance the password for my SQL database is going to be the same as my FTP hosting so we'll click continue and like I said the 150 MySQL database is free so from there we'll just click finish and it says, just to remind you, there's no charge to get this uh, product installed, so OK that. Excellent, so basically these information here um, is all the information that you need to write down for your database. Now obviously we know the, we know the, the database name and username, the password we've specified. The only other information that we need to keep, take a note of here is actually the server IP address. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that and that's us done on this particular section. What we're going to do now is I'll just jump over to FileZilla and we're going to set up the FTP so we can load up um, some information. So we'll just go File Site Manager and from here you'll see I've actually already set up one for Ignition Lab but if you were setting up a new one you would just click New Site and you would take the host information and the username information from the FTP section of FastHosts and obviously you would enter um, your password for FastHosts as well. But obviously we don't need to do that so I'm just going to delete that at the moment and we'll just um, OK this. So next thing we need to do is obviously we're going to be downloading uh, WordPress so we're going to come to WordPress.org and on the right hand section here uh, get it, got it, good, yep so we'll just click that and that will ask you where you would like to save that to. Um, it's a zip file so generally I just save it to the desktop. Now I won't save it in this instance because we already have um, our own one here. So what we're going to do is when you initially open this up there is this file here which is a config sample. So um, when we open that up and uh, we'll just open that up in Dreamweaver. It basically it has blank fields and it's basically asking you to, to put in all your information here. So um, what we'll do is we'll put in our database name, which was Ignition Lab. 
and our username, which was also Ignition Lab. I shall put in the password. And under localhost, we copy in the information that we had from the fast host section here. So the server IP address basically is going in this section here. Now, at the very top here, you'll see there's some uh, details that are already coded out. And it says this file is used by the WB config file. So if what we actually need to do is we now need to save this. But we don't save it as uh, WP config sample, we just save it as WP config. So we just go file, save as. And as you'll see, I've actually already got one of these in here, um, which is just here. So I'm just going to save and I'm just going to overwrite it. And we'll just say yes to that. Okay, so that's that done. So next thing we need to do is go back to FileZilla and we need to open up and connect to our web space. So we'll just connect and that's it. And what we need to do now is we need to load all our um, documents from the desktop for WordPress into the htdocs folder. So let us just go and find WordPress and we're just going to take all these files and we're just going to dump them in here and we'll just come back to it in a second. Okay, so that's all the files um, uploaded using the um, FTP details that we took earlier on. And now if we go over to our browser, and um, basically it's just a matter of typing in uh, your domain name, forward slash WP um, dash admin, and then we have the WordPress install installation. So we're going to give the blog a title, and we can always change this, so we'll just call this my uh, blog by Ignition Lab and then we just pop in an email and we'll just pop in my email there and we'll just click say yes to that install WordPress and then what it does is it gives you your username which is admin it then gives you a password. Now what to do is, is take a note of that password but you can change it later on. So I always like to take a copy of it and then click login. And then we have admin control V in the password. And there we go. We're now on the dashboard and you have successfully installed WordPress. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's the first one that I've done and maybe I've gone a little bit too fast through some of the stages so any feedback um, is, is welcome. Um, I hope to do some of these uh, in the future. So until then, thanks for watching.